Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So today we will learn one of the interesting topic, which is Docker. So you might have heard about this word many times, but let's see what exactly Docker is and what are the advantages of it. Okay. So what is Docker? A Docker is a software containerization platform. So you can think of a Docker is just like a virtual machine. So as you know, in virtual machine, we can have a different operating system. For example, if I have one one host machine on the top of that, if I create two virtual machines, so I can I can get two operating system on that, right? One can be Linux, one can be Windows or something else. Okay, but there are some disadvantages of that virtual machine because it need uh, like resources, it need RAM and other things, which is not the case with Docker's. All right. So let's see uh, what Docker's contain. So Docker contain an OS. It can be any OS like Linux, Windows. It contains the software that you build. So uh, software means a complete software or it can be a component of software or any kind of a microservice. And it can contain dependency. Let's say uh, your software is depending upon Java and some other libraries. All those dependencies can be resolved within the Docker's. Environmental variables. So we have seen the problem that sometimes some of the application is working in one environment. It's not working in other environment. But the Docker can contain all the environmental variables so that you can use that uh, application into different environments also. Okay. So what is the difference uh, of Dockers from the virtual machine? So if you see here, this is a virtual machine. It can be your local machine or it can be on the cloud. On the top of that, there is one OS. On the top of OS, there is hyper version and this hyper version needs uh, OS. So it can have different OS on the virtual machines, right? Like this and uh, it has a different application on those but in container or in dockers what will happen that it can be on your on your local pc or it can be on your cloud on top of that there's an os and instead of hyper version there's a docker engine here okay and uh, in docker because it does not require a separate ram what it will do it will use a kernel of the base os okay if you see here in these apps it is using the kernel of a guest OS here, okay? But in Dockers, it is using the kernel of the base OS. And because of that, these application or these application on different containers here does not require a separate resources, okay? They can just take, utilize the resources as and when they require. If, uh, I am, if I am using a virtual machine, let's say I have 8 GB of RAM. And if I have three OS or three virtual machines, so in that case, I need to give 2 GB of RAM to each uh, OS, but that's not a case with Dockers. In Dockers, my RAM will still remain the 8 GB and whatever memory is required by these containers, on the runtime, it will grab that memory and release it. So that is one of the advantage of Dockers. Okay, now, why are we talking about Dockers in automation? The reason is Dockers also gives some advantages which we can use in the automation because through Dockers, we can create our own grid for Selenium. Now, there's no need to find some machines and then have some grid and then do a parallel execution. I can create my own grid of Selenium onto a Docker, okay? And I can achieve my parallel execution there, all right? And beside that, I don't have to even download any browser or driver separately because these are all bundled into a Docker image. Okay, so these are the advantages why we are trying to use uh, Dockers for our automation. So in the next video, I will tell you how to practically do it. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.